Thank you. Thank you. We're in. Thank you. Alright guys, so we're in the park now. We uh, just checked out some of the merch guys, as you guys just seen. The, we've been in the park. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, we've been in the park for a little bit. Okay, so it looks like this is where the Bride of Frankenstein maze is going to be. And look, no wait time. Let's go. Oh wait, they're not open yet. So, I know here, what was it, four or five years ago when we were here? This is where the Walking Dead uh, maze was. They had a big old helicopter go across. Or, you know, between the two buildings. Let's see. Nope. It's not that this year. It is, yeah, it's something. Don't know what. But uh, we'll find out together, right? Mel's Diner. Mel's is always good. Uh, was that always a Mel's Diner? It has? It was? I always remember it being like some sandwich place or something. But well, there's the, looks like the Secret Life of Pets entrance. <laughs> there we go. Despicable Me. We've been on that. You want to go uh, go hit that ride real quick? No. No? Oh, that's right. She doesn't like simulator rides, so we have to miss out on this ride. You can go. No. There's a Pets Life ride. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, so, I don't know, is it down? We close. What is this? Secret Life of Pets. Let's go on. Let's go right in. We've got to stop and check all this stuff out. We've never been on this ride. We've never seen the queue, so. Uh oh. What are we doing? That's probably what I'd like to do when we're not on Look at because he's a leaner dog. <laughs> Look at this. What I need. Wow! Look how many lost puppies there are, Matt! I know. <laughs> gotta be at least. I don't know numbers, but there are a lot of them. Do you guys live around here? Or. Duke, I don't think they have homes. They don't have collars. No homes? No owners? <laughs> well, who feeds them? Who rubs their bellies back? You guys wanna practice wagging your tails? You in the middle. Wiggle your butt. That's not bad. All right, all right. Keep it down. No barking. Okay, with well, a little barking. Go ahead. Go ahead and out. I say very right, cool. Oh, oh. oh. Like the it's an East Why are you so nervous? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's good. Not a little bit of water, that's a lot of bit of water. <laughs> oh, so cool. 
Nobody's please, pet. Please, please, please. Yeah, please, please, please. <laughs> okay. This is really cool. I didn't even notice this when we got on. Oh no, I guess we don't get on there yet. Dude, I just get pets home. That's all I do. Chris, so what do you think? Welcome. It's all right. As you return, please right. lift your arms and your left arm will raise automatically. That was like the Little Mermaid Haunted Mansion, but way brighter and way more... Um, vibrant. Vibrant, but more like... Updated with like technology. Hands-on, like you can actually touch things and it made the line go a little faster. Right. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, you could probably throw in like Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin in that mix with the... Yeah, Roger Rabbit uses hands on I, some I, things. I'll be honest, I cannot stand Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin, whatever it's called. That line is just so deceiving. All right, guys, so the last time we were here, they were still building... Uh, what is this called? Harry, Harry, uh, Harry Potter Land? Hogwarts? I don't know. The last time, the last time we were here, they were building this, and I have to be honest, I've only seen two or three of the movies and, and the years ago, but this is actually pretty awesome. Kind of just cruising, or cruising around, walking around. It's, it's almost like you're in the movie. We're actually pretty impressed. Universal, you guys have stepped up your game. Look. Big time. Wow. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, I think so. So awesome. That, that is actually kind of powerful to look at that. Like, forget the whole Harry Potter theme. I mean, just to see that itself. You know? And you can tell they used some forced perspective up there. Very cool. So if you guys have followed me for a while, if you guys have moved over from uh, my other channel, Nine Night Adventures, you guys would know we urban explorer. That would be awesome to find something like this abandoned in the middle of nowhere and explore that. But obviously it's not abandoned. We're here at Universal. Right, so we're just walking around that Harry Potter land. I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, I've only seen a, maybe two of the movies. I mean, what did you think, Brett? I liked it, but I've only seen the first movie, I think. Yeah, I think I've seen second to last and one other one, I'm not really but sure. But it's still cool because you know what Harry Potter's about. Yeah, and I, I gotta say, between that and the Secret Life, Secret Life, Secret Life of Pets, right? They, they've stepped up their game. I think they're giving as big of a Disney fans as they are. I think they're giving Disney a run for their money. Yeah. And it's giving them something to even bring out more magic in their parks. Uh, I'm really enjoying this and I, I feel... Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is we'll Paul. We'll pick this up later. guide today mm -hmm. as we look for Veil of Sheep. Man, guys, this tram is really struggling to get up this tiny little hill back there.
So we're pretty excited because we're here opening night and we're the first ones in line for Bride of Frankenstein Maze. Let's check it out together. All right, guys. Alright, cool. Alright, if you guys see that, we're the first ones in. There was a camera crew that went ahead of us. The crowd is there. Oh, there we go. That's what it's about, guys. 